There is a tagger on the loose in downtown Nanaimo who is defacing public and private property with graffiti. Police say whoever's doing it has sprayed tags on more than 40 locations with the words arson and the letters AI. Steve Coulterman has more. A tagger has marked their territory, leaving a trail of destruction throughout downtown Nanaimo. Local businesses, light posts, even railway crossings are covered by graffiti. Two tags in particular are standing out. What we're dealing with is a, uh, what appears to be a prolific graffiti tagger who is going by the tag of arson or AI. The city says these tags first began appearing about a month ago and don't seem to be gang related. The community policing unit is monitoring the downtown streets and making note when new graffiti appears with hopes of catching the person responsible. Uh, downtown, because of the concentrated efforts of the residents, business owners and the volunteers, we've been able to stay ahead of or on top of most of the graffiti that's going on and have it removed in a timely fashion. The removal of graffiti is the responsibility of the property owner. Jim Simmington says he came across the word arson spray painted on his fence when he began doing upgrades to his property. I come from the Bronx and uh, this isn't damage. You know, this is just some kid uh, playing. Doesn't bother me. Um, I got a sander. I'll send it off. That's exactly what he does. Small acts of vandalism may not take long or become expensive for a property owner, but reoccurring acts add up quickly for the city. Parks, Recreation and Culture are spending around $20,000 a year in vandalism and primarily graffiti. And, uh, you know, our Public Works Department is spending a similar amount, $20,000. So that's a lot of money that the taxpayers are paying out for this. And, you know, it, it's such a shame. We're so proud of this city. We're so proud of Nanaimo uh, and what it has to offer and that people would take the time to try to destroy it and, and ruin what we have here is extremely disappointing. The city says if graffiti is removed within days of the incident, the taggers don't receive the recognition they feel they deserve. It actually discourages the tagger from coming back and doing it again. Uh, they'll continue to go where they are not under pressure, and if that happens to be other communities, it's better for the city of Nanaimo. If your property is tagged, report it to the RCMP and remove it so it doesn't happen again. In Nanaimo, Steve Coulterman, A News.